Hi, my name is Neil Lapina. I'm a specialist gynaecologist in Hamilton in New Zealand. Welcome to my series of educational videos in gynaecology. Today you're going to learn all about the normal menstrual cycle. What happens in the normal menstrual cycle? The normal menstrual cycle is controlled at many levels. The cycle is dependent initially on the pulsatile release of a hormone called gonadotrophin-releasing hormone, or GnRH, from a gland in the brain called the hypothalamus. This is released periodically, and anything that affects the frequency of release, either increasing or decreasing, affects the menstrual cycle. Examples of things that affect this release include excessive exercise, starvation, drugs, etc. Providing GnRH is released in this pulsatile fashion, it allows the anterior pituitary gland to function normally and release the gonadotrophins appropriately, that is, FSH and LH. FSH, or follicle-stimulating hormone, is released by the anterior pituitary gland. This causes a follicle in the ovary to grow. As that follicle grows, it releases more and more oestrogen. When the oestrogen reaches a certain peak level and the egg is ready to be released, it triggers the release of luteinizing hormone, or LH, from the anterior pituitary gland, which causes ovulation. The egg is released, and what is left of the follicle in the ovary is now called the corpus luteum, and this starts to produce the hormone progesterone. If you fail to conceive, everything goes back to normal, and you now start the cycle again with a new follicle. What happens to the uterus? The oestrogen thickens the lining of the uterus, getting it ready to accept a pregnancy. The progesterone increases the glands in the lining to support a pregnancy. If you fail to fall pregnant, the hormone levels fall away and you will have a withdrawal bleed. Disclaimer. Without having examined you personally, it is impossible for me to make a diagnosis or advise treatment. All information provided here is generalized and for educational purposes only, and decisions based on this should not be made without consulting your own medical professional. I assume no responsibility for you taking advice rendered here without me having had a physical consultation with you.